playing with friends, he got head to head and we had to run with him to the hospital. He had to go very quick to the intensive care. The blood that was on his eye went up to his brain. When I got to the church, I was already married and I had my son, Gustavo. We got to the church because of Gustavo, because he was obsessed. He would come to us to bite, saying things that was not common to his age, like, I'm gonna kill you. We noticed there was something wrong with him. So we got an invitation to go to the church and we start going and he got delivered. And immediately when we got to the church, we heard about the Holy Spirit. So the campaign of Israel I never did for my spiritual life, never to receive the Holy Spirit. I thought only going seeking on a Wednesday and Sunday was enough but never did something extra for the Holy Spirit. So the campaign of Israel I did for the financial life, to be blessed, for the family, to be always united, to be always in the house of the Lord, to be walking together, but never for the Holy Spirit. My heart was always in Gustavo. I was really attached to Gustavo. And the way that he would be with flu, with a small fever, I would be the whole night there next to him to see how he was going to be, to see if he was fine or not. I would be desperate if he would be sick. I was afraid of everything related to him, if something would happen to him. So that was really on the way, because my heart was not 100% to God. I wanted God, but I would put Gustavo in the place of God. So the 10 years passed by, so the Denise was still nervous. If somebody would say something, I wouldn't like it. I would say something back. I had bad reactions. So to me, that was not good anymore. So what I did to receive the Holy Spirit, I did a different reaction. I said, I don't want to have my thoughts anymore. My thoughts always goes in the end related to something, to the world that it's not good to me. So that's when I said, no, I want the Holy Spirit. And that campaign of Israel was different. I want the Holy Spirit. It was not for the family, not for belongs. It was for the Holy Spirit, for a new person. I say like that, I said like that to God, my life for your life, I want you in me, I want to be transformed like Paul was, I want this transformation, that's what I wanted. We were right in the beginning of the faith of the campaign of Israel and playing with friends, he got the head to head playing, he got on his nose. And that was swollen and swollen, and the fourth day it swallowed so much that closed his eye. He couldn't open his eye anymore. We ran back to the hospital, and the doctor tried to clean out. As the blood did not came down to the nose, it went up to the brain. So it was a ball completely closed. We started to give antibiotic, and with that treatment, he became unconscious. They had to put him with the fake breathing to help him to, to be alive, because the blood went up to the brain. And he went to make the procedure, and then they came to tell me that with bad words, two bad words, or he's gonna die, or he's gonna be handicapped, one of the two. In that moment that he was there with his eye closed, having medication, 
until the moment that he became unconscious, I heard a voice saying like that. You're not going to put him in your vow of the campaign of Israel. Look, now. That attachment that I had with him, I said, no. He's going to keep on going with you, Lord, and so am I. I want you. I want the Holy Spirit. If you say, Lord, come to me, he's going to go. But if you say he's going to survive, he will. Because he's going to glorify your name, he will stay. So me and my husband, we were in a very small room. And the Denise was a different heart. It was completely different. Very. There I received the Holy Spirit. It's something that you can't describe. It's no words to tell. When he comes and he just put us on his arms. So when my son was there, I was not desperate because he was there in the procedure in something very serious because it was too bad words that the doctor told me. But with that, it not crossed my mind. I was completely in peace. I was fine. I was with a sensation that I cannot describe. The person that receives the Holy Spirit knows what I'm telling. And when the procedure finished, It came a nurse that was part of the team, and she said like that. It's finished, and he went through. And I looked to my husband, and I said, It passed 30 minutes. And he said, I think so, let me look. It passed four hours. I was so involved there with the Holy Spirit that to me, he was like barely in, and he was already coming out. And after that came the brain doctor with another bad word. And I said, and she said, he went through that, but tonight he can die. And with that, I did not only think, I looked to her and said, the Lord Jesus is going to make it. She didn't say anything. She didn't like it. She just left. But the Holy Spirit said, Don't be afraid, only believe, I'm with you. In that night, the Lord started to give answers. He came out of the medicine. My joy was that he asked me to hold his cell phone and I gave. The telephone was even off because I wanted to see his reaction. He got the phone, very cool. He opened the telephone, he put the password, he started to open the games that he likes. I could see that he was understanding everything, the memory was there. Gustavo just kept on having his normal life. He never stopped going to the chain of faith. When he got out of the hospital, he went directly to the altar kept on faith, on the altar, following the word of God. In the beginning, when he came out of the hospital, we would explain, but now, no, he knows everything. Everything just fine on the front of God. Nothing's more important than to be close to God, to have the Holy Spirit. The Denise today always have a joy. The Denise that would be nervous about anything doesn't exist. Happy, very. <laughs>